This is a great question, Martin. Yes, I do think it's possible to copy all of your active pipeline to Google Sheets on a daily basis. So I've set up this sheet so far just with a couple different deal properties. I'm going to flip back over into HubSpot and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to create a new property. And I'm going to call this sync date. I'm going to use this to add the ability to, you know, enroll this on a daily basis. There's actually a feature in Ops Hub that would let you do this. Um, but if you don't have Ops Hub, here's a different way you could do it. So sync date, make this a date based property, create. And I'm going to go over to my workflows and let's set up our workflow. So our criteria, we're going to say deal based workflow. We're going to call this daily deal sync. Hit next. And for our triggers, so we're going to say that new deal sync property, that sync date is more than one day ago. So if that has not been updated in the last day, essentially, and we'll say our stage is one of these active pipelines. So if it is developing, working or closing, not closed one, not closed lost active pipeline, then we're going to enroll the deal. And then from there, we're going to set this update data in Google Sheet. Instead of create a row, we're going to actually use the update value. So now I'm going to find that daily deal sheet. There we go. The sheet is just sheet one, I believe. There we go. Look up my column header, deal ID. What column this property is going to be deal ID. And then if a new row matches, does not match, we're going to say yes. And then the columns we're going to update, we're going to go through all of these. So we're going to say update our deal name. And we're going to use the deal name. We're going to do the same thing here for amount, let's say. And we'll pick amount and so on. So I'm just going to hit save so you can see the next steps. So once you've mapped all your data to Google Sheets, then we're going to simply come in here and say, after we update, we're going to set our property value for that date sync. We're going to say, set this to the date of the step, hit save. And then finally on here, we're going to come to our enrollment and make sure we set re-enrollment to on and include this right here. So if our sync dates more than one day ago, we'll let people re-enroll. Same thing is going to happen. We're going to go ahead and re-enroll them if their deal stage changes. Um, so if you set both of those things, and if I were to turn this on right now, that would go ahead and flow it over. Um, please reach out with any more questions. This was a fun project. Thanks.